Okay, so there's a lot of moving parts here to the flight simulator. And uh, at this point, you've gone through and followed the directions to install the flight simulator uh, screen designer on your computer. Now we're going to start working with our main screen here on the basics of setting this thing up. So first off, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our sensor simulation and we're going to go to our pressure sensors. And we've got our pressure sensors right here. We're going to uh, we can actually put those right here. Now, of course, we can take our our static pressure and adjust our altimeter. Now, I'm going to adjust, if, if you notice here, um, adjusting that 9,000. Now, what I, want, what I want to do is I want to adjust it to 10,000. That's a nice, nice amount here. So we're going to bring that to 10,000 feet. Oh, we need to go the other direction here. We need to lower that pressure to 10,000 feet. Now, of course, notice you could also go ahead and switch that. Our barometer right here is reading 29.92. Now, if we wanted to also, we could adjust that barometer to also um, change the, the, the altitude, depending on the situation. Okay? And so there's our, there's our altitude there. So there's two ways to uh, do our altitude by the pressure altitude here or with the barometer and that will change our altitude here. So now we're going to look at our airspeed dynamic pressure. Now what I'm going to I'm going to do is I'm going to make our airspeed lower than that to uh, 78. I'm going to actually bring that that airspeed up to 80. There we go. So we've got 80 indicated. Now we can see that our true airspeed is calculated here based on our altitude it does that normally for us um, and also too we many times we may have a uh, if our angle of attack differential gets too much our angle of attack will, will um, uh, alarm will go off now we could we could acknowledge that click that and have it go off or we can just move our angle of attack differential pressure down either one Either one of those will get rid of that little uh, um, warning. So we're going to go ahead. There we go. Okay, so now what we've got here is our airspeed and altitude set. So now we're going to go into our sensor simulation, and we want to get our GPS. So our show GPS and GPS heading. Now this is where we can set our heading. We can set our heading a couple different ways. Uh, we can do that by moving our, our ball here, or we can type in what we want that to be and we can also type in our ground speed now we want our our, our ground speed to be 94 so we're going to go 94 okay so now our ground speed is equaling our true air speed now and notice also with the system here that all of the gps readings are in magenta notice here's our gps track in magenta and if we wanted to make our heading something different we could change that right here we could also move that right here and of course if you you're trying to get yourself into uh, a general area of course you can hit your you need to input the, the the proper latitude and longitude here and once you get that of course save current position um, that way whenever it starts up you'll you'll be right there and now we go into our, our sensor simulation and we can look at our compass simulation. Okay. Now if we notice here, we're going to go ahead and turn that um, on. Now we can see how our G-force right here is, what this does, this, is, this turns on um, this system here. And with our, our heading... Um, rate of turn, uh, pitch angle, bank angle, slip, g-force. Now, if our g-force is zero, then of course we've got to increase that to a certain amount. See how, see how it's going up? Because uh, typically with this instrument, when it goes up to a certain level, which you define, the g-meter pops up. So you can see that we're down at a g-force now where we don't need the meter right here. And of course we can change our heading here. If we change our heading to our magnetic heading 
to 133, and let's just say we bring that up to 180, our magnetic heading. Okay, now of course our magnetic heading is this, and and we've got to go back to our our G, our um, GPS if we want our GPS heading to be the same as our magnetic heading. Okay, so we're going to go back into our sensor simulation, show GPS. We're going to go into our GPS heading. We're going to make that 180. Okay, now notice what it does. It actually gives you the GPS magnetic heading based on the magnetic variation here. So let's go ahead and it subtracts 9 from the true that we put in. So if we put in 189, 189, then we should get the exact same compass heading. There we go. There we go. Okay, so basically what we've done here is we've set up our main screen here our attitude screen. So with our altitude, our airspeeds, airspeeds proper, uh, we've worked with our headings, uh, our magnetic heading, and our magnetic track course. Okay, at the same time, uh, you have previously set up all your engine instruments here, and we'll just review that real quick here. Sensor simulation, we go into our RDAC, and we adjust all of our engine instruments here to be reading properly for what we expect for this uh, particular uh, condition. So there we go. We're all set up with the attitude screen. So there's the end of lesson one. And next we'll move on to lesson two.